Papa, you're getting back to your old pipe fitting days, I, I see, know. man. Go ahead, first flip of the switch. Let's see what we got. Nothing. Did you flip it? I flipped it. back to another episode of teeth and turbos today we have another video about kind of getting your hands dirty i'm making some tasteful modifications to the lifted hellcat if it's got a three inch lift whipple supercharger piston trods cam kind of evolving into what i call the rally cat some call it the inside cat i call it the rally cat you can call it whatever you want you call it a hellcat the modifications that i'm making today i'm pretty pumped about you know to kind of go with the whole rally theme i thought what better than to do a freaking KC light bar? So we've got in these boxes, KC lights. Now I'm not talking about the new style like LED strip. We got the pod one. So let's dive into these boxes and see what we got here. Pretty fired up. It's like Christmas morning every day at this house, isn't it? All right, so we got some instructions. Definitely don't need these. Trash. It's trash. Pull this box out. What are this instructions? Looks... I've never seen you read those. I mean, look at that. That's like the classic KC lights. I always wanted uh, those growing up since I grew up in Kansas City. And you're I always thought. kind of a Jeep gal, you know? Oh, and I was like, KC for KC. Oh, is that why you wanted them? If y'all didn't know, Caroline is actually from the Kansas City area. And me being from Omaha, kind of neighbors. And <laughs> funny fact is that Caroline's sister also married a guy from Omaha. And now... Your brother <laughs> is kind of seeing somebody from Omaha. We so. love Omaha. Yeah, big big Omaha family. <laughs> oh, look at that. How freaking cool. It's got the bulbs ready to light. Yeah, I always wanted those. Got the wiring. This is going to suck. But it, it, I've got six of these. We've got six light. We've got six Are you pods. doing this by yourself? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Definitely going to do this by myself. Where'd that knife go? You don't want any help? I mean, if you want to help, babe, you can help. But let's check out the bar that it's going to sit on. Do you think it would go by faster if I helped? Mm, I think we could. I don't think it's really a two-person job until it comes to, like, we'll see. We'll see how it all plays out. Oh, wow. This is beefy. Let's see it in there. This is really beefy. Okay. This is going to be a project. I thought I could just whip this out pretty quick, but... If you guys don't know, Parker's projects are and then life I'll just, motto. I'll just throw the, yeah, it is kind of a funny joke around here that I have too many projects going on. But this is how it's going to sit. It's like this. I think it would have looked better on Julie. On the Jeep? No, it's going to look way better on the Challenger. Oh, I got I ordered some brackets for it. We got to see if they're going to work because they're kind of like. On the like, Challenger or the outside cat? Oh, the rally, the rally cat. cat. My Come bad, on. my bad. We gotta watch out for the sunroof. I think, I don't really don't know how I'm gonna bolt it up yet, so. But for your paint, if you just get a spot that you need to, you can't get out with a towel, you can use a piece of cardboard and kind of rub it off like that. Sort of kind of put it like this. Not to get like some kind of spacer, I guess. Make it stick up higher. Oh, let me try this. Parker's projects. Parker's projects. All right, I'm gonna start bolting these things to the bar, uh, running the wiring, and then I got to make those little brackets, and then hopefully we can get it mounted up and wired up and get this, get the lights on. I really want to see it. Like this looks super easy. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got uh, a lot to figure out here as far as the wiring goes. This is. I, if, if I had the time, I would have built my own wire harness for it, and I'll probably do it in the future. But for now, we're using the wiring kits that came with it, and we're having to wire three of the wiring kits together with three different relays, a switch, powers. It's really not that difficult. It's just more or less time-consuming, and I really want to make it clean, but it's not really the theme of this build. So we're just going to slap it together. So I've got a couple wires according to the instructions. It tells you how to wire the six lights together, so we're going to splice these three green wires together terminate some of the white and blacks that are going to the switches otherwise and then we got to run a good power and a good ground to each one of these relays so that all the lights get sufficient power so that's the next step to get this thing to stick up off the roof i'm gonna have to build a little extension about two inches off of this bracket so that once i self tapper this bracket onto the a-arm i can then lift this light bar up vertically once we do that, 
I really don't know what to do with these wires other than kind of somewhat just stick them in the car and wrap them and configure it down on the floorboard somewhere. I don't really know. This is kind of stressing me out until I build a, a more permanent harness. Not going to be... Not gonna be proud of this wiring work, but like I said, I will get like a solid state relay box and build this the right way. I just wanna have something fun for this weekend because we got a super sick plan for tomorrow with uh, another YouTuber that I'll give you a hint, also has a lifted Hellcat. Papa, you're getting back to your old pipe fitting days, I, I see, know. man. When was the last time you put a welding mask on? Many years back. <laughs> Many years back. Well, he's yeah. diving right in. He wanted to cut up the bracket for me, so. He's already lined it up. He's gonna make two cuts here on this piece of stock that I already had. Uh, oh, we'll probably spray paint it black and then, oh, are you ready to do this? I'm ready. All right, I'm gonna be right here with you. Probably feels hot if you touch it now. <laughs> Are you ready to do some TIG welding now? Oh, uh, yeah. I, can <laughs> I mean, I could fire it up. It's been a while, but we've got you everything got to hook it up. Pliers or something I can hold it with to drill it out? Yep, I do. Uh, somewhere in this mess. What is that? Next step, we're drilling the holes in the brackets that Papa just cut. I'm on. Uh... He's really getting his hands dirty today. Really the uh, never thought in my life would I be drilling into the frame or A-arm of a Dodge Challenger Hellcat. But here we are. Oh, it's walking on me a little bit. You need to. With an impact, by the way. Bobby, you said you've done this probably 10 times, right? Yes, yes. That's the reason you're up there doing it. <laughs> give her give her a lick that's good, that's good. That's, that means it's getting through right I don't know yeah it's yeah well, it's starting Right, okay, super, where's the other one? The other one's right here, but let's do this one first and then we'll mark up. You want to keep one. going on this or, yeah, or keep try going. a drill? I mean, that's the only drill we can. No, I don't mean a drill. <laughs> the screw. You want to try the screw? Yeah. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Hang on. Oh shit. Hold on. No, we're good. It goes like this. Oh, it does. okay. Are you on the inside? inside? I'm on the inside. Are you on the inside? I'm on the inside. Hang on. Just a second. Yep, you're good. See what you got cooking over here. Okay, I'm in. All right, I think we just gotta we'll tilt Been it forward a little bit. Oh, we just gotta get these lights tightened up. And we are looking good. I mean, look at this bird's nest. It's okay. It's okay. I'm okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Are you stressed? I am a little bit. A little bit stressed right now, but we'll get there. Papa's been a big help. Really? Yeah, yeah, he really has. This is even his happy hour time. Is it? He's definitely gonna want to drink after this. Are you gonna need a stiff one after this? <laughs> you know. There's wrenches in the bottom drawer. You working late and being stressed though motivates me to keep working. We're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Got this together, got those together. Need a power to that. 
switch, then we're good. Okay. Okay. All right, Papa, you want to do the honors? Yeah. Go yeah. ahead. First flip of the switch. Let's see what we got. Nothing. Did you flip it? I flipped it. I don't even but hear it clicking. It, it flipped it, but you got to tie the oh, whole thing together. Oh, we got two fires left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get a butt connector on these. Take number two. You ready? Ready. Flip them on. I'm going to flip them on now. Hit the switch. Oh my gosh, those are bright. It looks so cool. Let me put the hood down. Oh man, how fun is that? <coughs> Look at that thing. That is so cool. You got to come up here and check it out. Oh my. Wow, that is really cool. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Parker, you're an amazing dentist, but you're also an amazing me mechanic. Hey, I appreciate that. The <laughs> wiring I need to work on, but I think we did a pretty good job in an afternoon's work. <clears throat> All right, guys, that wraps it up for today's episode on Teeth and Turbos. Make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment. We'll see you tomorrow. We got some sick Rally Cat content to come. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth? Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty, get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.